Welcome to Let's Play Cars Mater National Championship Episode 29 And so for this segment we are going to be entering our third and final region in this game which is Ornament Valley But before we do that if you may remember watching the previous segment I of course collected some paint schemes, if you will. And as you can see, I'm right outside Ramon's House of Body Art, which means, of course, that I'm going to try one of them on and see what we get. Why? Because I want to. Also, because I figured it was necessary for me to actually try out one of these things. Considering, obviously, there is, of course, going to be more to collect along the way. And I think if I remember correctly, I got two of these things here in uh, Radiator Springs alone, I think it was. These actually aren't too bad. Yeah, not exactly sure on what that's meant to be, but I'm pretty sure, judging by what I can see here, that is an American embodiment of a paint scheme. So, I think for the next couple of segments, I'm going to go with this one. Showtime. I think I'm going to just try this one, you know, just to be different. And, let's now head over to Tailfin Pass. And there, I think we should be meeting another racer in this game, as of which we've already met Otto and here in Radiator Springs, and we've also met... Goodmund, as of which obviously we met him in Ornament Valley, and if the game... Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, my controller just decided to disconnect for some reason. Probably because the battery died. <coughs> Probably because the battery died. And I'm more or less doing this on my cable. And I think if I remember correctly, this is the road that leads to Tailfin, if I'm not mistaken. And yes it is. And I think if I remember correctly, from what I did yesterday, we get a cutscene. Although dependent on knowing if it will provide sound or not, remains to be seen, but I might have to get an audio file just to uh, prove what that is. Oh, we are getting audio. Okay. I think maybe we're in the wrong race. Huh. Looks like there's a new guy in town. Yeah, by the way, for the uh, cutscenes, I don't think the uh, paint schemes change. But obviously, because we're in Tailfin Pass, and I figured since paint schemes was probably the main thing that I have not used, in this game, yet I just figured this was the perfect opportunity for me to do it. And so, that's exactly what I wound up doing. And now, we must go and search for our first race. Because that is how I do the voodoo. And let's have a look. Right, so obviously, we've still got Luigi's store and we've also got. Ramon's store, and well, I think I'm just gonna head over to uh, Wheel Well Circuit because apparently I think that looks like to be the first one, and yes, it is. So let's go and do that. Let's go and do the Wheel Well Circuit to ultimately begin here at Tailfin Pass. And I think we may also get another cutscene. 
and collecting bonus points because that's what I do. And right there, of course, is Wheel Well. And so, let's do this. Let's just get started with the first of our final three road races in this game, which is located here at Tailfin Pass, Wheel Well Circuit. I think we get another cutscene to uh, introduce us to uh, what the character is called. And I think as far as I know his name is Kochi, but I don't know for sure until I've uh, watched the cutscene. If there is a cutscene, that is. And I can manage to get some sound, because apparently that too has been a problem. Okay, we don't get any cutscene. So, same structure as before, 12 bolt manners for first, 8 for second and 5 for third. Let's just get on with this. Okay, let's try that again, except for saying this time we do not get fucked by the AI and just end up taking the low line. I want to stick to taking the high line, I don't want to take the low line. Even though these fuckers clearly wouldn't understand that. And immediately boosting my way up to the front because I don't want to see myself just being fucked by this AI into taking the low line. Which by the way is also the not preferred line I might add. I'm stick I'm sticking to the high line. I don't care what anyone says. I want to stay on the asphalt. I want to stay on the asphalt. Basically what happened in my first attempt as well, it was going so well and then suddenly, just as I would have anticipated, the AI basically had to fuck me right on the final lap. When I almost thought for sure I was in the clear, they just basically... They just basically had to trigger a laser cannon on my ass and then just basically obliterate me. Or at least if I'm uh, being a little less technical, eliminate me. Because I was virtually eliminated and then when I thought for sure I was going to be on course to take third, I just basically eliminated myself. In frustration. In frustration. And... Down that front stretch, I hit a top speed of 176 miles an hour. Ironically, the number which I usually have for a braking speed. At least when I enter the braking points, usually. And not going to waste any time, just going to immediately boost away from the AI because I know what will happen if I don't. And that's a wall. And that's a rock. Can I please stop hitting everything I see? That would be nice. If I can just stop running into everything that I'm apparently seeing. then maybe I won't be at risk of being fucked by this AI. And also furthermore, in terms of the points I now have, I am pretty much more than just a millionaire. Anyways, final lap. And hopefully this will go out with the sound of silence. To quoting Disturbed. Which by the way is the name of an American rock band. Well, an American hard rock band, but obviously still the name of a rock band. 
And yes, I run. And yes, ironically enough. And yes, ironically enough, the sound of silence probably is the uh, softest out of all the heavy rock songs that Disturbed could officially come up with. And oddly enough, in a way, it's actually really good. Especially considering it does, of course, come from me. Especially considering that it does, of course, come from a hard rock, new metal band such as Disturbed. And well, what the sound of silence is, well, it's basically to them what nothing else matters is to Metallica. It's more or less... It's more or less a rock ballad which actually... Which is actually more of just being a rock song rather than actually being the heavy metal that you would usually expect. Anyways, I win. So overall, that was actually pretty easy. I just had to uh, prove, of course, that I wasn't going to fuck up every lap. And I also had to stay ahead of the competition if I was not going to get caught up in the chaos. So this is the final running order. So I won by 4.1 seconds over Mia. Lenny finished in third, followed by Ramon in fourth. And then, way the fuck behind the rest of us, nearly 20 seconds in fact, was Fletcher. So, I do now manage to get some bolt banners on the board, and ultimately, we are now three quarters of the way there, in terms of our overall game completion. Even though we still have some mini games to get through, obviously, this is good. Anyways, let's move on. And hope, of course, that my USB does not stock up again like it has been doing for the uh, past couple of segments I've done. I'm pretty sure there is a cutscene somewhere where we are introduced to uh, Koji. But anyways, that was our first road race. And as you would have guessed, of course, Koji is, of course, Japanese. But anyways, that was our first road race in Tailfin Pass, and... Next time, we are going to do... Let's see. You know what? I think I'm going to do the uh, race that's probably closest to me, and that's going to be our final monster truck waypoint race for the next segment. So yeah. Stay tuned for the final monster truck race in this game, I believe. Whatever.